Here's Henderson, and he converts the layup. And the Hornets lead by 16. He's created some good opportunities for himself and made the most of them. On the court for the Pistons, Josh Smith and Greg Monroe at the three and four. Then it's Lee, then there's Chris Bosch, and it's Rodriguez in at the one spot. The Hornets have gone four of seven for the field since the beginning of the fourth. Pass to Gordon. Rodriguez against Walker. Up top, Stevenson. And the rejection by Smith. Really quite surprising to see the huge edge they have in rebounds given what the scoreboard says. Yeah, it's not typical. I mean, they have been really dominant on the glass. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but they're cutting their movement together as a unit that's led to that. Now here's Kid Gilchrist. Stevenson setting the pick for Gordon. Walker with a clean look, and Lee pulls it down. Couldn't convert, but nice little two-man game there. And it wouldn't surprise me to see them go back to that the next trip. That's a two from Smith. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Hornets leading by 10. Walker goes in, and the rejection by Smith. Right side, Lee. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Smith gets to Lee. Passes to Rodriguez. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. Smith's got his third assist on the night. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for Detroit. Their defense has been outstanding, Kevin. Closing out on shots, blocking a lot of them as well. They haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either, and it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. Pistons trailed by nine. Smith on the wing. Lee outside. And another three for Detroit. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. Yeah, they have the defense on the run right now because every pass seems to have a purpose. They're getting great movement, great spacing, and they're really lining them up defensively. Even though he isn't having the best of games from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. Rodriguez passes to Smith. Three-pointer. And Lee with the basket on the assist by Smith. And now just a three-point Charlotte Lee. Charlotte has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Walker dishes to Henderson. Now the feed to Stevenson to the middle. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. What a night so far for Henderson. He has 12 points and one assist. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Hornets. They've knocked down plenty of mid-range jumpers in this one. That's been big for them. The other thing they're doing, guys, is forcing turnovers and then creating points offensively as a result. Jefferson's checked in for Gordon. And a switcher also for Detroit. Lions checked in. Hitting around 92% of their free throws overall. You've got to love that kind of efficiency. Good volume at the line, but they're knocking them down. I mean, you make nine out of ten, you're going to win a lot of ball games. Kicks it to Kid Gilchrist. And the basket by Stevenson. And the Hornets lead by six. Defensively, I think they've got to do a better job of bodying them up. Yeah, they're getting outclassed in the paint. At both ends, really. Kobe with the bucket. That's now a dozen straight points coming off wide open three-pointers. You know what it looks like to me out there, guys? I mean, it looks like All-Star Weekend out there. We know how much defense is played there. It's actually defense during the All-Star Weekend, no deep. And it's slammed in by Stevenson. Well, I tell you what, it was the good pick that was sent to turn him loose. And once he got around it, Steve, it was smooth sailing right to the hole. Well, because of the pick, he had plenty of room. That's why he was able to power down that slam. And if their last five makes, all have been from long range. Yeah, and the defense has not done a good job of pressing in and denying. I mean, they're hanging back, playing on their heels. They're not being the aggressors here, and the offense is taking advantage of it. One lays check in for Charlotte. Here's Walker. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Three consecutive baskets have come right at the rim. Defense is better start buckling down and tightening up. Yeah, they're getting exposed right now. Shot is good, and the Charlotte lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Bryant. 
The Hornets have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. And Walker kicks to Jefferson. Back to Walker. Conley setting the pick for Walker. Stevenson tries to oh, 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 man. I don't know that this is the time for that kind of play. In a close game, the important thing is the two points, not the dramatic. Oh, come on, Clark. You had to go for it, didn't you? <laughs> I'm with you, Kevin. You can't fault him for that. I mean, just let him go. Who cares? Charlotte's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And Walker kicks to Jefferson. Kid Gilchrist against Smith. Bonley, the pass to Kid Gilchrist. And it's blocked by Bosch. They get it back. Boy, have they been hitting the glass hard or what? Kind of surprising in such a tight game. Yeah, you're right. Very rarely do you out rebound an opponent like that and not have it pay off. Bryant, it's a wide open look. Good, it's Bosch picking up the assist. Now it's a three-point piston lead. Hornets shooting at 51%. Really solid. And Walker kicks to Vonley. From down in the low post, it goes. And for the Pistons, they're shooting straight 49% from the field. Smith outside. He's looking for Monroe and finds him. The Pistons working the ball around now. Cloak loose. It's stolen by Jefferson. And it's Kid Gilchrist penetrating. Puts it up from 12. Misses off the right iron. And Clark, they've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, I think so. Too cool. I mean, just not forceful enough. Not alert or aggressive enough. And sometimes trying to do too much with the basketball. Sometimes you just got to make the easy pass. Somebody's open, throw it to them. When you do that multiple times, the game starts to find a flow to itself. Here's Jefferson. Can't get it to go. The Pistons go the other way with it. More often than not today, those shots have not dropped for him. Smith with it, now defended by Vonley. The drive by Monroe, count the bucket. And the Pistons lead by five. You know, it's really hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, look at the discrepancy in this, the assist call between these two teams. Now here's Jefferson. Cannot hit. Good work defensively by Bryant. Into Smith. Kid Gilchrist with the steal. Here's Jefferson. That falls. Nice feed that time for Walker. 21 points for Al Jefferson. What an outstanding pass in transition for the easy two. Pistons leading by three. Rodriguez passes to Smith. Let's it go. Good. This switch has definitely been flipped to on this quarter, guys. Charlotte's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Walker dishes to Jefferson. And Kid Gilchrist kicks to Vonley. Buries it! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Well, the defense just looked a little lazy on the glass there. Yeah, nobody boxing out. That's inexcusable. Sinks it. Late reaction from the defense, and he's always going to make good on that. And for the Hornets, they're shooting at a 46% clip in the fourth quarter. Longer the pass to Jefferson. Yes! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And now the crowd really getting into it. Listen to that. It is shaking in here, guys. Absolutely insane. And the Hornets making a change here. Rose is checked in. And they go to the intentional foul. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. That's off his run, so he misses both. He looked like he tightened up big time on his way to the line. He could have been. He really should have closed it out. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. I was able to in on what Steve Clifford was going over with his team. He told them, this is what we play for all season, guys, right here. We have to summon every ounce of energy and strength and leave it on the floor. We'll see if they have it in them, Kevin. That's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Yep, you got to extend the game here. Try to keep that clock to move. And the 
second of two is good. That will put them up by two. The well, Hornets shooting 51% from the field. They'll take that. It's tipped. Taken away by Rodriguez. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intention of fun. And he misses the first one. Boy, he won that one to fall. And he misses the second one as well. So he was 0 for 2 that time. And there's the call on box. That will give him his fourth foul of the game. And here are the Hornets now. And Rose, wide open. He shoots. Ooh, off one. And now they foul and stop the clock. And no good is the first free throw. Missing for him. We'll see if he can hit the second. So neither attempt will fall that time frame. And so it's the Pistons who come out on top here. And Clark, you know, it was quite a nail bite. Yeah, it was tight. Their guys were able to come up with big plays down the stretch, and that's the difference. Time for us to say so long. Thanks for watching our coverage of the second round of the NBA playoffs. For Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long as we present the Jordan player of the game.